Let's start the shock capsule removal and piston disassembly. Remove the shortening mechanism linkage located on the top of the shock absorber piston at SM9. In order to accomplish that, remove the safety pin securing pin SM9 to the shock absorber. Remove the collar. Drive out the pin SM9 while supporting the shortening mechanism. Move the complete shortening mechanism linkage to a safe area. Remove the forward bearing shoes to enable the capsule to be mounted in the fixture. Remove the upper bearing seals. Remove the bearing from the carrier. Install a lifting sling on the top of the capsule through bore SM9. Completely open the top filling charging valve. This allows the air to enter the capsule during removal. Remove the gland dowels using the appropriate tool. Using a lifting device, carefully lift out the piston. Place the piston into the cradle for further disassembly. Remove the locking locating bolt from the recoil housing. Install the appropriate tool. Unscrew the recoil housing.
remove the dowel guides. Carefully slide the gland housing, having previously fitted the extractor tool. Remove the gland housing by sliding it carefully past the extractor sleeve. Place the gland housing in a safe area. Remove and replace seals and bearing as required. Fit the seal and scraper ring. Let's now reassemble the shock absorber piston. Fit the changeover valve. The position of the changeover valve is handed for the left and right hand side. Fit blanking caps on the other side. Secure the nut with lock wire. Put appropriate grease on the seal and inside gland. Grease the capsule, having previously fitted the seal bullet. Refit the upper gland housing onto the piston by sliding it carefully to prevent damage to the seals, bearing and outer surface of capsule. Use the appropriate tool to place it safely into piston. Once the upper gland housing is sufficiently installed, remove the specific tool completely. Install the recoil housing. Fit the lock ring.
tighten it to the corresponding torque using the appropriate tool. Reinstall the locking locating bolt on the recoil housing. Secure it with a tab washer and locking wire. When the upper gland housing assembly is ready, fill the sliding tube with oil to a correct level. Lift up the piston with any appropriate means and position it over the sliding tube cavity. Fit the external seals to the gland housing. Lower the piston into the sliding tube taking all the necessary precautions to avoid damage to the seals. Ensure that the master dowel hole is correctly aligned on the upper gland housing and upper bearing. Fit the locating dowel through upper bearing and gland housing. Install the upper bearing. Now, install the appropriate winch tool on the shock strut jig. Fit the hollow pin at SM9, pass the cable through the hollow pin and secure it on the shock strut jig opposite the winch. Progressively tighten the winch in order to completely compress the shock absorber until it bottoms. Ensure that the filling and bleed valves located at the top of the piston are open. Install the flexible hoses onto the upper charging valve and change over valve bleed screw. Fit the filling adapter to the valve located on the bottom of the sliding tube and pump oil into the shock absorber, maintaining the required pressure. Allow the oil to flow through the drain valves with a minimum of time to ensure that air is completely removed from the shock absorber. Close off the bleed valve, close the lower inflation valve, allow the shock absorber to stand for at least 10 minutes until no oil flows from the upper charging valve. Shock absorber fluid is now at the correct level. Remove the previously fitted winch tool. Fit the shortening mechanism links to the top of the piston and bearing shoes.
shock absorber reassembly is now completed. Take the complete shock absorber for reassembly to the main fitting on the aircraft. Approach the shock absorber from the front of the aircraft and align it under the suspended main fitting. The shock absorber assembly is reinstalled in the opposite sequence to removal. Shock absorber removal and installation is now completed.